9 a.m. I'm scared, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared of this adventure. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Drew Easy. Welcome to a special 24 hour edition of Joe Easy Delivers. For my longtime viewers, welcome back. For my new viewers, welcome to the channel. Before I continue, uh, this video might get a lot of clicks. So if you're new to the channel, you could just skip on to the, to the start of the shift. Because usually in my videos, I talk a little bit in the beginning and then, you know, I, I start delivery. But you could stick, skip on to the next ch chapter if you don't want to hear me talk so much. But well, usually I give uh, I give my people a, a snapshot of what I have made, what I have made for the week so far. This, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys a snapshot of my earnings for the week. This is how much we made for the week so far. On Instacart, we have made $127.38. On Uber Eats, we made $195.82. And on DoorDash, we have made $186.40. And we, we, we've gotten an $8 cash tip in total for a total of $509.60. Now if you divide 509.60 divided by five days, we have made an average of $101.92 per day for the week. Welcome guys to this channel. Welcome to the 24 hour shift. I am super scared of being out at four in the morning. You don't know in the city. I'm in the city of Miami. Miami, there's crazy people all over the place but I'm gonna try to be as safe as possible. I'm gonna be looking in, in my surroundings and let's see what happens, guys. Let's see if we could do this. My, my parameters are gonna be the one from the last video. So $5 minimum, $2 per mile, up until $10. After $10, $10 orders, it is going to be $1 per mile after $10. And then I'm gonna take obvious Instacart orders that are really good. I'm not gonna be taking I'm gonna be really picky with Instacart, guys, but I will take Instacart if they feed me anything. Because right now, all the bots are taking it in the city, and I don't, it doesn't really matter, guys. I'm not gonna be dwelling on, oh my God, the bots. Are no, hey, the bots are the bots. They're gonna take whatever they wanna take. I will do with what I can with what I have. And that goes on to my next point. We are a channel of positivity, ladies and gentlemen. We stick to positivity, love, and happiness. We try not to complain. Yes, we, there are always gonna be orders and batches that, are, that do not go according to plan and we start complaining, we're like, oh my goodness. But then we reset our mind and we say, you know what? It's okay, happiness is key. We keep forward, we keep moving forward and that is it, guys. Uh, one more thing, I was watching a video yesterday and it reminded me of the times where I have had like bad thoughts, like not bad, bad, but like, negative thoughts like oh man and it puts you down for a few days maybe somebody told you something or something bad happened and you like got down on yourself and then you stay like that you stick in a, you stay in a rut guys if you're going through something if you if you're in a rut right now and you're like mentally like oh man and you're thinking about something constantly and you're, like, and you're just like not feeling it guys you are not alone everybody goes through something not everybody's perfect nobody's perfect guys everybody goes through something so just stay positive, keep resetting the mindset, and keep yourself busy. Find something, find, guys, I think, I think the key to life is to find something, find the purpose. And I know a lot of motivational speakers say, and it sounds cheesy, but it's true, guys. Find something that you're passionate about, find your purpose, and then just keep attacking it throughout your whole life. Because when negativity comes, and when those thoughts come in your head, it is gonna come and you might be down or something, but then you're gonna continue moving forward to your purpose and then you're gonna forget about it even faster. I'm, I've been doing these videos, I've been enjoying the whole process. I've been enjoying all my people, all of you guys. It's been amazing. So if I do have those those funks, you know, I just continue doing videos and then I forget about it. It's in the past, continue moving forward and let's go baby. If you made it to the end of this, this uh, intro, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me grow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you wanna watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe. All oh, my people, let's cross our fingers. Let's hope that nothing bad happens to us. It is 9.30. I'm gonna start um, editing this, uh, the last video to be released. And we will start the 24 hour shift like at 11, 11.30, 11, 11.30. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start the hustle. The time is 12.25, so let's say 12.30. We're going to work until 
tomorrow. And let's track our miles. So we're gonna put this from 43 to zero. All right. All right, we accepted our first order of the day of the 24 hour grind. And it is a $16 Panera Bread order for 10 miles. Let's go. All right, order number one of, I don't know how many, but let's go. All right, we got both orders right here. One order is a little bag, the other order is like a pizza and this. Let's go close it and deliver. All right, we are at 10 miles, exactly what the app says. So it was accurate. The time is 1.04 p.m. and we completed that uh, Uber Eats order. I have to say, start saying this fast because it's gonna be a lot of orders. So Uber Eats completed. Uber Eats, $16, 10 miles. Let's go, continue. I declined the $12 order for 13 miles because it was not a $1 per mile order. But either way, even if it was $12, 12 miles, I don't even know if I'll take it though, because that's a long, that's a lot of miles, but I don't know. But it did not meet our minimum anyway, so we declined it. At the time is 1.17 p.m. We accepted a $12 Uber Eats order for 7.8 miles. Let's go. All right, the name of the place is called Z Ramen. Let's go. All right, both orders were nice and ready for me to be picked up. Perfect, nice and ready. Let's go. That's how we like it. All right, we have both orders here. Close it up and start our journey. Right, guys it started sprinkling a little bit but i have my my uh my jacket my raincoat just in case let's go the time is 1 47 p.m and we're done with that 12 or 12 dollar uber eats order for 7.8 miles we're like at we did a 16 and a 12 we're already at 28 dollars in a little over an hour guys imagine how long that used to take us to for instacart but we're not gonna get mad at instacart all love ladies and gentlemen all love we're gonna continue hustling let's go all right guys i didn't i didn't really i think this is less than this is less than two dollars a mile it's seven dollars fifty cents for 3.9 miles it's close to two dollars so let's just take it let's go uber eats again uber eats bro you guys are not gonna believe this we just accepted an add-on nine dollar fifty cent add-on for an extra 0. 0.6 miles what is going on guys instacart never gave me this much loving let's go all right so the first place we're already here hurricane and wings or hurricane grill and wings let's go is not ready yet so we gotta wait like five minutes five minutes so we got it it did take like five minutes like the person said usually they just say five minutes that's like the default answer but it really did take five minutes so that's good let's go right, here's location number two panera bread let's go all right we are here at panera bread we waited a little bit in the first restaurant and um i was like okay this should be ready but it's still not ready but you know what that's okay I should be ready soon. They're already making it out. They told me. So let's just continue waiting. Yeah, we got it, guys. We got it. It took some time, though. It took like 10 minutes, probably. But we got it. Happiness is key. Let's get it. We got the order right here. We got it in the insulated bag, the Panera. And then we got the drink back there. Let's go. Time is 2.33 p.m. And we completed that Uber Eats, uh, Uber Eats $17 order uh, for uh, like how many miles was it? I don't know. Maybe like four and a half miles. And it's 2.30, we are two hours in. We got 22 hours to go. Let's go. All right, guys, we passed by a public series of Publix right here. Let's go get uh, our hydration, the ice, some hydration stuff. Uh, we're gonna stay online though. So this may eat up into our our hourly earnings, but it's okay. It's all, I wanna make everything like, like factual or, you know, more accurate. But we are here and I'm gonna still accept orders. If there's an order around here that makes sense, I'll accept it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go to Publix and get some hydration. All right, guys, so they didn't have the sparkling ice, the one with the caffeine in it. So I'm gonna have to drink one of these then, I guess. I've got ice and I have to be careful of what I eat because if I start eating too much, every time I eat heavy, it's the worst. This week, I've been eating very clean and I've been able to last a long time because I'm not eating so much food. I'm eating the right foods, you know, so it's, gives me more energy so it's funny the less crap you eat the more energy you have imagine okay all right let's go so i'm gonna have lunch but i'm not gonna have lunch now i'm gonna have lunch probably like closer to six maybe a late lunch because i'm gonna have like another another granola bar i'm gonna have one of these i have lunch at six because i don't want my stomach to be so full and then i'm like get all food get a food coma no 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 food coma no well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We just accepted a $19 order for 16 items in this Publix that I just finished uh, coming from. So let's do, let's do it right now. Let's go. 
I mean, it's 244, it's, it's gonna be slow anyway until five or six o'clock. Let's go do it, let's go. All right, we're back. We actually never, we actually never left. Let's go. I'm meeting my granola bar, like on the run, like, meeting it. Well, I'm thinking I don't wanna waste any more time, you know, let's go. For my Instacart hustlers, make sure you check expiration. August 22, it's good, let's go. So I was just offered an add-on right now, but then when the add-on popped up, it said, check network connection, try again later. So that means that the bot somehow took took the batch out of my my account and gave it to somebody else. Yeah, that's how it works, guys. It just messes you up because it says, check your network connection, and there's nothing wrong with my network connection. Nothing wrong. Everything's perfect. So that's how it is been 11 minutes and we are halfway done we should be done super quick though because everything else is easy items all right let's go ladies and gentlemen we are done it took us 19 minutes to complete and there was zero out of stock items can you believe that can you believe that zero out of stock that never happens but we got lucky let's go pay and deliver all right we got everything in the car let's go deliver this and make 19 dollars. let's go all right, the time is 3.30 p.m., 3.26, 3.30, and we completed that $19 order for whatever amount of items. It took us 41 minutes to complete. The time is 3.30. We accepted a $6 Uber Eats order for two miles. Let's go. All right, so we declined the $3.50 add-on for another 1.3 miles. We declined that one. All right, Boy Tropical, let's get it. All right, guys, so someone took the food, so I'm just going to call Uber Eats. <coughs> Uber Eats so they can cancel it but uh, and get my $3. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so so I'm not wasting so much time just calling and getting my $3. I'm going to start driving back to the zone for DoorDash. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the wrong zone. The, the zone is not far away. So I'm going to do that, call Uber Eats while I'm multitasking. How about that? All right, guys, we called Uber. They gave us our $3. It was canceled. It is 3.49 p.m. And while we were waiting, we accepted an order. DoorDash, $12 order for six point seven miles all right this is the place it's called islas uh e camarillas restaurant all right let's go we got it man this is heavy all right let's go all right we got the bag here it's a huge bag guys look check it out okay just close it up and deliver all right the time is 4 11 4 11 p.m and we completed that 15 dollar DoorDash, it was $15 instead of $12. So $15 DoorDash, it took us, oh, I don't know how long it took us, but it is $4.11. Let's clock out so I could charge the car, guys. I know. I mean, it is what it is with this small battery, you know? I need a car, I need an electric car with a bigger battery. And that's any other car that is that this car is cheap. It was cheap when I bought it, so that's why I got it. But it's all good in the hood. No complaining. All is happiness. So let's clock out at 4.15 guys i forgot to give you guys the mileage i mean it's 416 but the mileage is let's say 44 i think i drove like a mile let's just say 44 44 44 miles remember that all right so now one of the chargers every charger in the mall is full so now i have to go to another mall like that's what happens man that's what happens i gotta waste more time guys i'm at shake shack i'm gonna eat some food while the car is charging guys look Look how much money, usually, look, I've been doing the meals like I showed you guys, right? And I also, I also stay away from restaurants nowadays because I know a lot of employees are like kind of overstressed out. They're overworked, so they don't really care. So I've been having the meals and then I usually don't, I avoid all this stuff. Plus I know it's expensive. Look how much this costs, guys. I just ordered a burger and some fries, well, a double burger. I ordered a burger and some fries. Look how much it costs. I ordered a double smoke shack. So it's a it's a double bird. I'm really hungry guys. That's why I got the double one. Ten dollars. And I got French fries. Three dollars and nine cents. And then the total was fourteen dollars plus the tip. Two dollars. Two dollars. I put fifteen percent because that was the highest. That was the highest, so that's what I got. And um sixteen dollars guys for a burger and some fries. Can you imagine guys? Can you imagine? Wow. All right, guys, this is my lunch. This burger is so small for $16 and some fries. But you know what? I'm gonna enjoy every single bite, guys. Let's go eat. Oh, wait, oh, did I tell you what it is? Okay, so it's, it's it's all this stuff. I don't know what it is. I just got whatever it was on the, but it's supposed to be a double. Oh, it is a double. Okay, all right, let's go. <clears throat> the burger's good, guys. The burger's good. Mm-hmm. 
right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Let me give you the numbers so we could start our, so we could continue our shift, our shift. We, we were on a, on a forced break. It was a forced break, but at least we got to eat some food. And then when it, once it gets dark, I don't put the air conditioning on, so I don't have to, I'm gonna have to charge at least one more time, but uh, it's gonna last a lot, this is gonna last a lot longer, hopefully. Okay, we worked from 12.30 p.m. to 4.15 p.m., 3.75 hours. We drove 44 miles. We made on Instacart $19.28. On Uber Eats, we made $49.52. And on DoorDash, we made $15.50 for a total of $84.30. $84.30 divided by 3.75 hours. That is $22.48 per hour. And if you divide 84.30 divided by 44 miles, that is $1.91 per mile. Guys, guys, we're making 84, 80, over $80 in our sleep now not having to rely on Instacart and with the $5 parameter thing. Why didn't we do this before, guys? Man, I mean, we're gonna have to let the bots take the, you know, take over Instacart, because Instacart doesn't really, they're trying, but they don't really care. It's all good. We have to continue making money either way. Let's go. All right, it is 5.16. So let's say we started again our next shift at 5.15 p.m. And let's reset this to zero so we could start, uh, so we could have a more accurate picture. So we set it to zero and let's go. All right, we accepted an order that is right below the $2 per mile, but let's take it. It is a $7 order for 3.9 miles DoorDash. Let's go. All right, this is the name of the place, China Gourmet. Let's go get it. Guys, we got it. We got it. It was ready. Let's go deliver. Let's do it. Package is secured. The package is secured. All right, so this order is taking me basically in the opposite direction of where I want to go because it's like a bunch of houses and, and I don't want to be here. So I'm hoping that the next order takes me cl closer to the opposite way. Cause I don't like this area. It's just, it's too many houses, you know? And then I would rather go back to where it's oversaturated with restaurants and people, you know? So, um, but we'll see what happens. Guys, the time is, is 5.30. That end, order ended up being 8.75. Why do I get so emotional? <laughs> 875 baby let's go let's continue it's 533 we're done let's go let's keep hustling let's do it hey guys it's 5 45 p.m we accepted an uber eats chipotle order it's five dollars flat for like two and a half miles or 2.7 so we'll give that one a chance let's go i just declined a two dollar fifty cent add-on for an extra mile that's a no-no oh my goodness i made a wrong turn guys now i'm gonna have to walk the rest of the way guys forget it i i turned into the wrong shopping center but the other shopping center is over there i'm gonna walk i'm not driving anymore forget it all right you see so i had to walk a little bit but it's, it's right there it's not that far i mean a little walk won't hurt me i need to walk this burger anyway and the fries all right here we go chipotle let's go get it all right guys we got it they were uh they were pretty nice the, the employees have been nice today i don't know what's going on no no i don't know what's going on but i'm happy because niceness matters. Being nice matters. It's like what The Rock says. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. So when I become a millionaire, I'm going to be uh, like The Rock. The nicest millionaire on earth. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. All right, let's secure our, our Chipotle and deliver it for five smackaroos. All right, it's 5.57 p.m. And we completed that $6 or, or no, $5 Uber Eats order. All right, guys, the time is uh, 6.05, and we accepted another $5 order, 2.8 miles. It's close to 2.5. All right, we made it. It is called Manhattan Chicago Pizza. Let's go. Guys, look at the size of this pizza. Look how big it is. It fits like the whole trunk. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go. All right, guys, it's 6.20. We're done with that Uber Eats $5 order. Let's continue. All right, guys, we got a good order, an order that's going to finally take us mo more towards where we want to go. It is 6.23 p.m. We accepted a $6.75 order for like 2.3 miles or something. Let's go. All right, guys, we are going to Chicken Kitchen. Let's go. As you see orders there, right? You would think, like, maybe they could, like... Orders 
when they get overwhelmed like that, they need to just turn it off so we don't waste our time. Look, we're wasting our time right here. I'm wasting my time just, just waiting, you know? Hey guys, we got it. We got it. We waited. I don't know how long we waited. We probably waited like five minutes. Yeah, I guess it wasn't that bad, guys. Hey, right, we got our food here. Nice and hot and ready. So close it up and deliver. Oh, guys, why didn't you guys tell me that uh, DoorDash gives you hidden tips on these small little orders? I, it was a $9.75 order. We're done. It's uh, It was, what was it, six? And there'll be nine. It's six forty. We accepted another order. Uh, DoorDash, $6. One mile. Let's go. Hey guys, let's, uh, we haven't gotten the order yet, but let's, let's get our hydration going on. Our, look at that. Look at that ice. then sparkling ice and take a sip because I'm thirsty all right the place is called Pinchu burgers and kebabs let's go all right guys I have to deliver this to the mall I just I just got it but you know what? I guess it's okay. I get to charge the car a little bit while I'm there. So it's not it's not that bad, I guess. You know, it's a win-win. Remember, we gotta stay positive. We gotta always look at the positives and everything. Even if it's super negative, try to look for the positive. Let's go. All right, here's our order. Close it up and let's go. All right, so while I'm driving over there, I'm texting the customer, asking him, hey, hello, uh, are you at a store inside the mall? something that it should be automatic guys if you're in a mall like come on man you gotta put the name of the store like help a brother and sister out man if you're not, if you're not gonna put nothing i mean yeah they put the sweet number but it's in a mall like you gotta you know what i'm saying like like you know what i'm saying you know you know all right let's go all right so the customer saw the message but has not responded it's been like over five minutes we'll figure Check this out, guys. Guys, it is 6.55 p.m. The customer saw it at 6.49. Didn't say nothing. Because apparently, this guy, he doesn't want his food. I keep sending him a text. I keep calling the guy. He keeps ignoring my call. There was a few times where it rang like two or three times. And then it said, oh, sorry, this mailbox is full. But I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to deliver this order. I'm not going to take it home like, you know, some people do. But let's see. All right, guys, this guy said to leave it in front of this door. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna leave it here because I don't know. This is kind of like weird. I'm gonna. He said he said to leave it there, but there's so many people. Like, look, it's exposed. I'm gonna leave it here. All right, guys, we finally delivered that. 7:09. It's 7:09 p.m. We delivered it. That took a long time. Uh, we're at the mall, so let's charge for like five minutes. I mean, we don't have to, but but let's charge for for a few minutes, guys. For a few minutes guys we are still we're still online accepting orders but let's uh let's put this in the charger oh we're getting orders hold on we saw a nine dollar or an eleven dollar nine mile order that we didn't get because it was going the opposite direction so let's put this here and start charging we accepted a six dollar 75 cent order for like two and a half miles so let's uh let's charge for like four minutes four minutes gives me a good amount of miles and then let's go guys we accepted another uh six dollar add-on to the doordash order for the same place for panera bread so it's perfect and it's uh, an extra 2.8 miles for another six dollars so 12 dollar order let's go baby that was good perfect all right panera bread we are here let's go all right we got both orders here it was they were ready it was in the stand it was like in the stand already all right let's go Guess who guess who doesn't have a gate code? Guess who doesn't have a gate code? It is 7.30. Hour 7. And I don't be dealing with these no gate code orders. Come on, customer. Guys, that first delivery... That first delivery paid $9 instead of 6 Guys, I keep getting these hidden tips from DoorDash. Oh my goodness. This is, this is amazing, guys. This is amazing. 
All right, let's go to our second customer. Guys, that order ended up paying $7.52 or $7.47 and $9.52. So I ended up paying $16.99 for that order, guys. Oh my goodness, oh, that's good. Okay, so we're done. It's $7.45. This duck just in the middle of the street. This duck needs to move, man. Come on, ducky. Where you at? Can you move, please? Thanks. Thank you. All right, the time is 7.52 p.m. We are at 32 miles. This is how much we made so far at 7.52. On Instacart, we made $19.28. On Uber Eats, we made $59.52. On DoorDash, we have made $56.99 for a total of $135.79 in total, guys. Let's go.